So in order to simplify how to read a CT scan, I'm going to look at the sinus or the specifically the maxillary sinus like a cube or a three-dimensional box. And I'm going to share with you the anatomy in a way that is very simple. Okay, I call it the sinus simplified. Okay, we want to be short, concise, and simple so everybody can understand. I even show these uh, slides to my kids and they're pretty young. Uh, they really get it. Not that they're doing surgery tomorrow, but I'm, I'm passing the test of kids. And if kids can understand these drawings, I feel like you can benefit from them as well. So if you're looking at this three-dimensional cube, the base of the cube or the inferior border is where the teeth are. That's where the ridge is. Okay, so here's a cross section of the sinus. So here is the ridge. This is where we're going to be placing our implants. It's a, a, a buc buccopalatal uh, section. Uh, here is your palate. And this is our medial wall right in here. And then we have our nose with uh, the different structures, the turbinates inside. And right on the opposite side of the medial wall, we have the lateral wall. Okay, we'll talk about the lateral wall in just a few minutes. This is the buccal aspect. Now we have the floor of the sinus. This is our cortical bone. And then we have a meatus. It's called the middle meatus that connects to the nasal cavity. That's very important. We have to stay away from it. And that's, this is why when we do things in the sinus, things go inside the nose. We have a nosebleed. Now inside the lateral wall, you can see those black dots right in here. These dots represent blood vessels, and they're very small. Sometimes you can see them, but we're staying away from them because most of the big blood vessels are about 18 to 26 millimeters from the floor of the sinus or from the top of the ridge, so we are far away, okay? So take a snapshot of this image. Uh, this is all you need to know about the uh, basic anatomy of the sinus. So let's take a look at the ridge. Okay, the next thing that we're going to be focusing on is the membrane. The membrane is the lining of the sinus. This is the wallpaper that lines this three-dimensional room. We need to look at it as part of our analysis. We want to look at the consistency. We want to look at the thickness of the membrane. For example, uh, this membrane is about a millimeter in thickness, which is quite normal. It's actually on the thick side, and that's uh, great. We can lift the sinus uh, carefully and mobilize this membrane. Some membranes are thicker. Hey, that's a blessing. I love that. So that's why every case is individual. I need to look at the different anatomy. I need to look at the thickness of the membrane. Your mission is to lift the membrane and place bone underneath. How we do it, we're going to talk about the step-by-step, -step. but that's in essence what you're doing in sinus lifting. So take a look at the original illustration. We can lift the sinus through the ridge, through the crest, or we can lift it through the lateral wall of the sinus. Now, there are some that do it medially as well, but that's not for beginners. So these are the main sinus lifts that you will do, and these are the two sinus lifts that I'm going to be sharing the protocols for and the blueprints for in this training. So let's start with Crestal. How does it work? Crestal, basically you are prepping for the implant, you are stopping short of the sinus floor and you're lifting the membrane right from the uh, crest itself, right through the osteotomy. Some people call it the uh, Summers technique or the osteotome technique, but it's really the location, it's the crestal approach. The other technique, the lateral window technique is approaching the sinus from the lateral window. And once you create a window and entry into the sinus, we are approaching the membrane, lifting it up all the way to the medial wall of the sinus, which is important to create what you need in terms of the height. 